Hello everyone, welcome to Photo Focus. I am your host, Melissa New, and in this segment of What's in Your Bag, we are with the ever-talented aviation and wildlife photographer, Mr. Moose Peterson. How Thanks are you? Thanks for having you? me. Doing yeah. real good, and you? Good, yeah. welcome to Las Vegas. Hey, Vegas, oh yeah. <laughs> so, where the moose loves to be, yeah. So you've got your 800. Mm-hmm. Um, camera body. Mm-hmm. When you're out there, for 18 plus hours and you need something that you can rely on, mm-hmm. what's your go-to? It's always a D4S. D4S, Ooh. yeah, this is the, the main body right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, and why the D4S? There's a lot of reasons. The main one being the frames per second. It's it does 11 frames fast. per second. Mm-hmm. And then I can shoot over 110 frames in a burst. Amazing. Okay, so that ability, um, since a lot of the work I'm doing is not for uh, the general public. That's not who the images are geared towards. This is the scientific community. That's still my main thing. Uh, I collect data, even though it's anecdotal. Mm-hmm. It's hard to um, argue with a photograph, even yeah. though it's a one-time occurrence. Scientifically, it doesn't prove anything, wow. but there is a, a record of it. So again, like the Alaska marmot, you know, I'm sitting there shooting stills, okay, and uh, I mean, once they come out, they're kind of like a slug. They sit in the sun, and kind of look, you know, tilt their head like this. And it took an hour to do that much, right? So they're not doing a whole lot. Yeah. So it can be <laughs> as a <laughs> photographer, right? Um, and yeah. then they, they came out and they started eating grass, yeah. right? Um, well, eating grass, right? If you're gonna show that as a still, it's just the head down. Arr, arr. Right. Well, I put on the video, turn on the video, which we can do so easily now. That's so true. So I shot the video. That D4S has great quality with the video, doesn't mm-hmm. it? And so the video is what really the scientists went crazy over because now they're actually seeing biology in action, which they've never seen before. Ah. So the stills work for the media, mm-hmm. you know, the web books and sure. magazines. The video is the data collection that got everybody excited. So it's that combo. And you know what, you talk about the frames per second. I would imagine if you're sitting there for 18 hours and waiting for that critter to come out, you might only have one or two seconds. So mm-hmm. you need as many frames as you can in the, that small amount of time, correct? That, that's that's part of it, as also is the fact that um, the, this particular critter might be the next one to blink out because of climate change. It's basically reached its edge, it's, it's getting too hot. Um, it's the, the longest living or longest hibernator of any critter on the planet. It doesn't like heat. So if it goes extinct, like I've had other of my, my subjects go extinct in my mm-hmm. time, the only record of it will be, if it were today, Jake and my photographs. That's the only record. So in that process, the grassland's heart string someone who's never been to Alaska, never sat on that, that, that slope, who's never experienced all those things that we saw, right? To understand just how incredible this place this, this guy lives. Sure. If it's my photograph, it could be very small, minute gestures in its body, its head, its eye, that on the printed page will grab someone's heartstring to get involved with it. So as he's moving that head, while I'm watching, I'm thinking, you know, F-stop service, but all that kind of basic stuff. Right. And then the data I need to collect as you know observer for science, and then as a person who wants to grab that one shot to grab heartstrings, 11 frames per second makes up for trying to get the one shot yes. and go click that does it all. So 11 frames per second, you could say, um, gives you a safety buffer in trying to cover all those genres you want photograph to fit into. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, Moose, where, where can we find your work? You talked about your website. And do you have a blog? Do you update I keep it? everything very simple. Do you? MoosePeterson.com, okay. YouTube channel, Moose Peterson, you know, Easy. Twitter, Moose Peterson, Easy. Facebook, Moose Peterson. All right. So yeah, I use the KISS theorem. Okay. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Mm-hmm. Moose Peterson, M-O-O-S-E Peterson.com. Yeah, so, yeah. S-O-N, all yeah. right. Well, definitely check that out. And Moose talked a lot about different gear. Not everyone has the ability to purchase that big hunk of a 800 lens or the D4S. But you can lend it, you can rent it at lensrentals.com. And I would definitely encourage you guys to check out Moose's work. It's beautiful. But not just his work. Holy cow, you know a lot about animals. So I was very educated today. So thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks so much. <laughs>